Welcome everyone, this is Joy of Joy Morris Beauty and in this video I'm going to be giving you my first thoughts in regards to the NARS Soft Matte Complete Foundation. So go ahead and stay tuned. All right, so anyone who has followed my channel for a while or knows um, a little bit about me and makeup personally knows that I absolutely love the NARS brand. Um, as I've mentioned in several videos before, I, I actually worked for NARS at a trade show some years back, which is when I fell in love with the brand and began to learn a lot about the brand. So I've been a fan since then. Um, so I have I own a lot of NARS products. Um, I'm a diehard NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer fan. I have bought countless tubes of that stuff <laughs> in various shades. Um, I have definitely spent... Um, a bit of money on the NARS brand, just kind of building up my own collection. And um, it's something I really enjoy. So when I found out that they were coming out with a new foundation, I knew I had to get my hands on it. So um, definitely want to try that for you right now. I don't have anything on my skin. Um, so this is my bare skin. Okay, so here it is. Um, you know, all the NARS foundations, they come in this, um, you know, soft black uh, packaging with the white letters. That's their trademark. So let me go ahead and open this now. Okay, so I've seen this tube on social media. This is a travel friendly tube. This is nice. And we've got one and a half ounces of foundation, which is a nice amount. So um, I like this, this packaging that it came in. Like I said, you can just throw this in a, in a travel bag, um, you know, hop up and go. It's not too big. It's not too bulky fits in the palm of my hand. That's nice. I like that about, about this. Oops, already coming out. Ah, okay. <laughs> so I have to be careful when you open it because it's not any type of, um, and I did order this straight from NARS. Um, I did not pick this up in the store, but the one they gave me didn't have any type of like a, you know, protective seal on the top. So that product will come oozing right out. So let's see, I'm going to go ahead um, and see that's Macau. Um, one, one thing I forgot to mention, let me mention quickly, is what this product claims to do. Let's see. NAR says that the Soft Matte Complete Foundation is the new take on matte. It provides comfortable 16-hour wear, full natural-looking coverage, true color oxidation resistant transfer proof and shine proof which is those are um some high claims so that's great so i won't be able to test out all those claims in this video but i i can at least give you my initial thoughts so i'm um, back to the shade let's see so this is macau like i said this is the part that came out so you definitely want to open this um with the tube kind of upright because otherwise you'll be wasting some product and i'm not sure how much to use but we'll figure that out together let me kind of um i'm going to smell it and see what it smells like i'm pretty sensitive to scent so um i tend to kind of shy away from products that have too strong of scent so i always give that opinion um in my video because i always videos because i appreciate that type of information oh i don't think it has a scent I don't smell anything. Let me see. I can barely detect any scent. Um, so that's great. Um, I mean, there, there's the, the faintest when I kind of rubbed it in and like really, really got it in my nose. There's like the very, very faint, like foundation um, type of scent, like a, like almost like a paint, very, very faint scent, not paint you put on the walls, but if you imagine how foundation tends to have this like paint type of smell but i had to really really dig into the product um and i and i still only barely detect it so that's great so here's macau right here here's macau on my hand and then i'm going to see what it looks like on my face straight up so not too bad okay Yeah, I definitely feel that that full coverage as I'm rubbing it in. Definitely sense that full coverage. 
Um, and by the time I'm filming this in early September, I've spent a lot of time in the sun. So I have a couple of different shades going on on my face. Um, but I still think with all that considered, the Macau is, is a pretty good match. I'm, I'm kind of happy right now. <laughs> I thought that I was going to uh, waste my money, which I have done that a couple of times this year. Trying to shop this year has been frustrating. Um, but this actually looks pretty good. I'm very happy about that. Um, and I'm, I'm putting it on with my fingers because I really just kind of want to get a feel for um, how it goes on. That would be the second layer that I'm putting on this side of my face. Even looking at my skin um, naturally in the mirror, it, 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 it has a really nice natural coverage to it. I mean, I can tell it's kind of like a full coverage. It's really definitely covering my skin, but it looks, it has a natural look to it. Cause I don't, I'm not someone who likes really heavy foundations anyway. Um, but I'll wear a full coverage depending on how it actually looks on my skin. So now I'm kind of dotting it, blotting it under my eyes. Um, you wouldn't almost even have to use concealer with this if you don't have really um, dark circles up under your eyes. So I put Macau over here just in my cheek area so you can see that's the Macau. And then this is the just my bare skin over here. But I mean, even, even this is just kind of a good test. So you can see with this being a full coverage concealer that I just put all over here, comparing this to my bare skin, it still looks so natural. And that's what you want, you know, especially if you, you know, you might have something going on in your, with your skin where you might need full coverage, um, but you don't always want to look like, hey, everybody, I have on full coverage. You know, you don't want it to be so detectable. So this is, this has a natural of enough look that, that I would, I would enjoy wearing this, um, and I don't, I don't typically always go for full coverage foundations, but so it has a matte finish. Um, and the only thing I did not have any type of, um, foundation makeup products whatsoever on my skin, but what I did have on my skin was, um, the Sonia Roselli water bomb, which is a very, um, um, very smooth, fresh feeling kind of like moisturizer. So that's the only thing that I did have on um, my skin up underneath, which I think is probably why you see a little bit of that glowy look. So I mean, even if, even if you do have a matte foundation, um, depending on what you put underneath, it will still affect the look. So you can see for those of you all who maybe you don't like like a really heavy matte look, you know, depending on what you look up, put up under your skin, you can still have like a really nice, um, bit of a glowy finish. So I'm going to put a little more on my forehead. I'm very happy that I picked this up. I'm very excited. My forehead is really, really dark naturally. And in the summertime, it gets even darker. So this will be a good test too, to see, um, how it covers my forehead. I am really, really loving this foundation so far and very happy that I picked it up. So you can see, even with me blending it with my fingers, it it goes on really naturally. Now, if I was to wear this out the house, I would, you know, I would obviously need like a darker, warmer shade up here to kind of match uh, my complexion and, and actually have that look, you know, more natural and native to my body. Um but to just kind of lay down the foundation first. Here, let me get a stipple foundation brush. I don't know if they make this one anymore. This is a Sonia Kashuk number four. Just kind of like a stippling brush. So I'm just gonna, you know, full, stipple it into my forehead and see how that looks. That, that goes on wonderfully. It's really smooth, provides, yeah, really nice coverage. So you can kind of see what that looks like. Okay, I kind of went a little, <laughs> a little more too, too much over here, but you can kind of see just to compare the two sides again. So I put um, two layers down here, just about maybe one layer on my forehead, but you, you can see how that covered 
I mean, completely covered this shade over here because my whole forehead was this color or this color. So you can see how that completely covered that nicely. So yeah, this, this side, this is the side with the NARS Macau on it. Soft, soft matte. Let me get the name down because I'm still getting used to the name. The Soft Matte Complete Foundation over here. And then this side, which I've kind of covered it up a little bit, but you can see up here, um, this side doesn't have it on. So um, like I said before, I, I am a medium dark neutral complexion. Most shades, when they have a generic description of a shade, medium dark neutral, that, that is the one that I usually fall in. Um, and that is how they describe Macau as a, as a medium deep, medium deep, medium dark. Um, if I'm pronouncing it wrong, I know somebody's going to let me know because I usually get corrected on my videos. Always somebody like, well, that's not how you pronounce that. So, I mean, hey, we're all learning here. So here, I'm going to go ahead and finish my face out. I am going to get a lot of good use out of this foundation. This was money well spent. I am very happy right now. Um, I'm very happy right now. NARS did a great job with this foundation. I said even, even kind of blotting it under my eyes. If you, if you didn't want to use a concealer or you didn't have, um, you know, extremely deep circles under your eyes. We needed to do color correction or anything like that. Um, you wouldn't have to. It's set in nicely. It's looking really good. So I just got to do this. This cheek doesn't have anything on it. That's the only part of my face that doesn't have any of the foundation on it. So I'll put a little more over there. Let's see. Yeah, I'm going to get a lot of good use out of this product. Um, yeah, I, I already know. I'm so excited. It's just, you know, that's the funny thing about makeup. Um, it can be expensive, you know. And so when you buy something, you don't know if you're going to like it, you know, how it's going to look, how you, you know, you, it's always kind of like a surprise. And um, when it works out, it's so exciting. When you get something new that works, it's so exciting. So I'm feeling really, really good about this purchase and this foundation. And just excited to have something new to rotate in, um, you know, to, to how I wear, what I wear, um, especially going into the fall season. So I'm very happy right now. Very, very happy. Okay. In case you're wondering for point of reference, I just wanted to share the other NARS um, complexion products that I use on a regular basis. I use the NARS Pure Radiant Tinted Moisturizer in Martinique, which is described as a medium dark. Um, three is how they describe that one. And um, let me see. For the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer, I use Amand or Amande and also Caramel. And um, let me see what that looks like on, on top of here. I just put a little bit on. I said, I don't really feel like, you know, if you put this on a certain way, this particular foundation that you would even need a concealer. But just to show you, just to layer a mon day on top of it so you can see. Okay, and then also, because I know that's a popular shade, um, Amande, I'm going to just put the two on my hand um, for those who may be curious to see what the NARS Macau in the Soft Matte Complete Foundation looks like next to Amande. So that's the NARS Macau, and then the concealer that I wear a lot, I have bought so many tubes. <laughs> is a Monday over here. 
Let me get a good so you can see. Okay, so this is a Monday over here. And then this is the Macau shade over there for those who may be that combo or close to that combo, just so you know. And I did put a little um, Amande up under my eyes and I have Macau all over my face. So, yep, Amande over here, Macau over here. So I'm going to be spending some time, um, you know, going into the fall in particular, playing with this foundation, getting to really learn it because um, that that's how I like to work my products. I like to really get to learn them and master them, figure out what other products they play nicely with. Um, so I'm so happy to have something else to kind of play with and, and learn about. So I'll definitely be doing that with this foundation. But in terms of my first impressions, um, there you have it. I'm, I'm very pleased. I really like this NARS. You did it again. You did it again, Nars. You did a wonderful job. So, so if you are on the fence, um, get off the fence <laughs> and pick this up. Um, definitely check this out.